Hello and welcome to the session today. My name is Jay, I'm from DJ Lab. Um, a lot of students come to us saying, hey, it takes me so long to write loops, so long to write tracks, and a lot of the time they just don't sound that great. Um, so we're gonna be exploring the idea of using a template with sounds that you've picked and developed that sound good together so that you don't have to muck around with the sound design, you can just play. So I'm gonna start out by doing the demo, um, and then if you're still interested, hang around and I'll have a little bit more of a chat about what went into it after. Awesome. I'll just change something here, cool. All right, I've almost got the drums done. Cool, that'll do. So drums are done. Okay, now we'll do some bass. That's pretty cool. One of the notes wrong, so just fix that. Cool. Let's move on. Cool. I'm not that one. All right, cool. Hello. Cool. Awesome. Cool, we're getting there. Let's do some vocals. So I've got something sliced up here. Oh, that was cool. Awesome. So a string. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not too bad. Good enough. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. So you can see in the last uh, three, four minutes that I've been able to knock out a pretty full track idea. Um, so 
I guess this is really efficient because it allows you to be completely creative and not focus on the nitty gritty sound design things. Um, because what happens is our brains actually struggle to go from the creative side to the analytical side. And once you go to the analytical side of your brain, where you figure out sound design or what to put in, then it's really hard to be creative again and really flow um, with what you want to do. Um, and in regards to the actual template, yeah, you can see that I've just got a whole bunch of sounds that I've been using. And I've actually made probably, yeah, over the last week I've done about 20 ideas out of this that all have the same sounds but are all a bit different. And what the idea is, is um, you're not going to do your best work every time. So you need to get lucky to make something that sounds really good and that you really like. So why not just increase your chances of luck by popping out more ideas? Um, so basically, with this approach, um, you just make a whole lot of ideas, um, export them to MP3, compare them, and then uh, whatever's the strongest idea and gives you the most inspiration, finish it off. Yeah, and the uh, final thing you might be wondering is how do I get to a template like this? I would recommend starting with a blank screen or another project that you've already done with sounds that you like. And then have a listen to that and see if there is anything about it that you thought didn't quite work. Um, if there, yeah, and for those certain elements, you would just replace them or just get rid of them completely. And so when you finish an idea, then you would just go save as, call it a new project name, then you can start again with the same sounds. And then, yeah, just to spice it up, I'd just recommend um, adding a sound here and there um, or, you know, doing something different with the automation. Yeah, whatever uh, you can come up with. But, yeah, cheers for watching. If you have any comments at all, just leave them in the comments for me and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Cheers.